I'm going to review with you what a disc herniation is, what degenerative spine disease is, why it happens, and what we can do about it. So the first step is to realize what the spine looks like when you're 18 years old, perfectly healthy, everything is going great in life. So if you see here, this disc right here is extremely plump and the bones in the back are extremely well aligned without any play. As you can see, there's no play in the actual bones. As we age, just like an old oak tree that you'd see in the in a, in a uh, forest, or if you see it in, in, you know, in the yard, something like that, you see that the tree actually degenerates just like your spine does because of the force of gravity. Gravity continues to push down on the spine. And as a result of a medical phenomenon that was discovered by Dr. Wolf, it's called Wolf's Law. As pressure is put on a bone, the bone changes shape and causes bone spurs. And so what happens as we age is the disc deflates. Some people have disc herniations. If you can see in here, there's a little red herniation of the disc and you can see the disc has collapsed. Over here, you can see how the foramina, foramina just means the hole where the nerve comes out of, is nice and open. That's what allows you to bend and twist without having shooting pain down your leg. As we get older, and as gravity does its thing on our spine, the bone spurs start developing and we also have disc herniations. And when that happens, it effectively makes this little hole where this nerve is supposed to live a lot smaller, causing compression. Just like if you were vacuuming your house or somebody closed a door on an electrical cable and it would cause the insulation on the cable to have a dent in it or maybe change some conduction of the electricity through the wire, Similarly, your nerve is an electrical wire, and when it gets compressed, it doesn't send data properly, and it can be extremely painful. How do we treat disc herniations? Well, the most common disc herniation is usually at the level of L4 and L5, and L5 and S1. These are the areas of your spine that are essentially the low men on the totem pole. And what we'd like to do is take away the swelling from a disc herniation. So when the disc herniates like this, we can inject steroid right into this hole. And when we inject steroid right into this hole, what it does is it causes a multitude of effects. Number one, I'll use lidocaine to prove that the actual medication went in the right spot and to make sure that that actually is your pain generator. Number two, the steroids will take about two weeks and it actually changes the body's production of inflammatory proteins in that area. Effectively, it shrinks the disc and, in, in, and decreases the inflammation around the disc. And lastly, um, we couple that with physical therapy and posture exercises, back braces, behavioral modifications, sit to stand desks, posture exercises, and mental exercises that we can do to keep our spine in appropriate alignment to optimize the pressure in the spine. Normally, in a normal 18 year old healthy spine, 70% of the weight of your body is going to go through the front of the spine. It's called the anterior elements. And 30% will go through the back. 15% into each facet joint. These little joints where your back connects, they're like door stoppers. Similar to, uh, if you remember the character Gumby, he can bend all the way forwards and backwards. Well, the way that humans were designed by intelligent design is that we have these door stoppers in the back so we, we can't bend backwards. Well, as we age, not only do we get arthritis in the front of our spine, like spondylitic changes and bone spurs, we also get arthritic changes in the back. And that can be treated differently than a transforaminal or epidural injection. That can be treated with medial branch blocks, where I can put a little needle and numb the location where the nerves, there's microscopic nerves the size of your hair that actually supply these joints. I can block those nerves with lidocaine, and we'll do that test twice. If the patient has a good result, then we can burn the nerve, but not the nerve that gives you strength to walk and sensation down your leg, but it's a nerve that essentially is, all, all its job is to send pain signals. And so we can ablate that nerve using a little bit of electricity and a pinpoint needle, and that can give patients relief. So effectively, uh, disc herniation and facet arthritis our degenerative spine conditions. As we age, it's a natural course of aging and a natural course of gravity. I recommend patients to spend six months on the space station every five to seven years if possible to help alleviate the pressure from 
gravity. However, as natural living organisms and mammals, we have a natural decay as we age. And that's where I come in the picture to help you stay as active and functional as you'd like to be and help you thrive, not just survive and age gracefully. So hopefully we can get you some relief, some injections, help you to avoid surgery, um, and ultimately improve your quality of life and function. Thanks for watching.